Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen at Back to the Roots, an urban mushroom farm in Oakland, California. My name is Jared Abbott, but tonight, right here, you can call me Chef Gerard. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make a mushroom saute with oyster mushrooms and some other veggies, so get ready. Now the protein in this dish is going to come from fresh oyster mushrooms that I've grown myself from our little brown box. All you have to do is open it up, add water a couple times a day, and mushrooms just come shooting right out the front of it. So let me show you the recipe. So I've got some pre-chopped garlic here. Now I'm gonna chop up a couple peppers that I found at the market. These are pretty cool. I think they're in season right now. So I thought, hey, let's use them. I always like to use seasonal vegetables. So I'm just gonna chop up two. These ones shouldn't be very spicy. Um, but I will add some spice afterwards. And I'm going to go for slightly bigger pieces. Want to, you know, have some texture in this dish. So put those in the bowl for now. And then I'm going to move on to a jalapeno. Now, I like my food spicy, so I'm going to use half this jalapeno. Because I've got this little saute here. I don't need the full thing. And of course, if you want to eliminate some of the spice, you can always take the core out, which will help uh, keep the spice down. Got my jalapeno, and to take the core out, it'd be really simple. All you'd have to do is remove this white section here with the seeds in it. You can take that full thing out, and then it won't be so spicy, and you can just chop it up at that point. I'll just add that to it for now. So we get started with my garlic and potatoes, and really want to add enough oil here, so I'm going to add about a quarter cup of olive oil. A nice sizzle to it. I'll add the garlic, and I'm going to add the potatoes in right away afterwards, because we've got to get these things start cooking, so they have a few minutes to cook by themselves before I add everything else to it. Now, because we're not boiling them first, we really want to give them a, a solid five or six minutes by themselves before we add anything else to the pan. And uh, if you want to speed it up a little bit, you could boil the potatoes first and then add them in after they've boiled for a couple minutes by themselves. So I've got about a medium heat here. I'm just going to let them hang out, do their thing until they start to soften up a little bit, and then I can start to add everything else. You can see there's enough oil so that it's not going to dry up anytime soon, and potatoes are lubricated enough where they won't start burning and sticking to the pan before they're ready to eat. So Steve and my cameraman saying it's starting to smell pretty good, so they must be ready to add the other ingredients. And if you look, there's start to be some light brown coloration throughout the potatoes and the garlic. Also, if you want to check, you can grab a knife or a fork and kind of poke the potatoes and see it goes in pretty easily, so I can start to add everything else. And from there, I'm going to add uh, the peppers and the mushrooms and uh, Jalapenos. So the good part about this is I put enough oil in there so that these other vegetables can get lubricated as well. And start to cook in that. They won't start burning and sticking to the pan. That's really key. So we've got potatoes that are golden brown and everything else in there. We'll let it hang out for another couple minutes. And uh, I'm gonna add, actually I'm gonna add a couple other things uh, to top it off. How about a little purple cabbage? That's gonna help add a little texture, a little crunch, and of course that amazing color. And while I'm at it, I'll throw a little bit of lemon just to squeeze a little quarter lemon in there to add a little bit of that citrusy sour flavor. The final ingredients would be a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. Mix it all together and that's going to be my mushroom saute. I'm going to take it off the heat right now. I like to keep the cabbage relatively raw nice and crunchy and uh, not too wilted. Well, you know what time it is. It's taster time. I'm going for a potato. Mmm. Potato is perfectly cooked. Not too soft, not too firm. 
And that's pretty much it. So oyster mushrooms, potatoes, little red cabbage and peppers, jalapeno for some spice. That's a nice little mushroom saute right there. Thanks a lot once again. My name is Jared. You can call me Chef Gerard. We'll see you next time.